Dan Willis here and we're talking about medical collections and this video is for a member of ours, Mr. D, who we'll call for confidentiality. And Mr. D reached out to us, sent us a message, and he has been out of work here for a little bit of time, fell behind on some bills, and has some medical bills outstanding. He's going back to work here very soon, so I'm glad to hear that it sounds like you're feeling better, Mr. D. And here's the thing. Mr. D has, we'll call it $6,000 in medical uh, bills unpaid and then it will say another three grand on student loans and he had reached out to us asking us about debt consolidation and how to go about contacting these folks to resolve this because here's the deal when it comes to those debt collections the first point is there's a statute of limitations this will depend upon where you live it also depends upon how old that debt is and from your story mr d i got the impression that it sounds like that's a relatively recent debt but by calling them and contacting them that like acknowledges it and verifies it because the the collection industry is just shark filled waters so literally our government the FTC finds them different companies every single year for millions of dollars and even the credit bureaus aren't easy to deal with like <laughs> so the first thing is the statute of limitations because you may not have to pay some of these debts you might not be legally responsible it is true you know the unpaid debt collection you do need to address it because it can result in them filing a civil lawsuit against you which could potentially be a judgment and depending again upon where you live that could lead to your wages being garnished so let's avoid that <laughs> but you don't want to pay stuff if you don't have to but furthermore now that these debts have gone to collections they bought your debts so there's one I believe it was about $500 it's three different accounts they bought that debt for just pennies on the dollar this means that if that debt is within the legal time window, you can always settle it for so much less. You have about six grand, <laughs> you'll be able to settle that for just a mere fraction. So please always negotiate uh, before you do anything. And I forgot to mention the free credit consultation, they may advise you to do uh, debt consolidation because that may be the way to go but debt consolidation won't really help your credit uh, just plain and simple and the last thing is debt validation you can request this and this is what you need to do please with any debts but especially the medical collections with the collection agency and you have to be careful about how you do this you need to do it through writing and certified mail so you have evidence because really <laughs> these guys don't follow the rules at all so what i strongly encourage you to do and like i said they may advise you to do debt consolidation first but you would also let me also mention this you had mentioned your i don't know if you have a job yet i kind of got the impression that you already have something lined up if not one of the bigger trends these days is employers are checking applicants credit like they literally will check their credit before offering them a position so that is something to be aware of if you happen to be looking for a job and oh just getting back over you know i'm really glad that you're feeling well and mr d however you choose to move forward please let us know we're here to help thanks for reaching out to us and if you'd like to know some more we've got a free report available at our website link in the description below the seven super simple steps to clean credit please subscribe and join our youtube congregation this is dan willis please Please have a fantastic day and looking forward to talking to you again here soon.